the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 208, Jeremiah 21-23 Punishment against false prophets Jeremiah honestly persuaded the people to surrender to Babylon and repent of the evils repeated from the time of their forefathers while accepting the 70-year captivity. First point. King Zedekiah requested to Jeremiah to pray for South Judah in hopes that there might be a miracle. As God had delivered South Judah out of the hands of Assyria during the reign of Hezekiah 150 years ago, King Zedekiah hoped for the same result this time round as well. And so, he asked Jeremiah for help. 150 years ago, Hezekiah tore his robes and went into the Jerusalem temple to ask for God's help through Isaiah. God saved South Judah because of this. Now, 150 years later, Zedekiah requested Jeremiah to pray for the same outcome. As the Babylonian invasions began, according to Jeremiah's prophecy, King Zedekiah looked for God's miracle to deliver them from Babylon. But this was not Zedekiah repenting or obeying God, but only seeking immediate help. Zedekiah's cry went against all the times Jeremiah had persuaded him to surrender. Despite this, Jeremiah told Zedekiah, God's decision yet again. God's answer to save their life was to surrender to Babylon. If they obeyed, then they would be able to live. Second point, the response God gave to Jeremiah was that Jerusalem would not witness a miracle but God's burning anger. God spoke to South Judah through Jeremiah. This is what the Lord says to you, House of David. The minister justice every morning, rescue from the hand of the oppressor, the one who has been robbed, or my wrath will break out and burn like fire, because of the evil you have done, burn with no one to quench it. This was God explaining that the people were being punished for the sins of the South Judah kings. God explained that if they did not surrender and obey, then they would become targets of mockery. As God said, with Zedekiah marking the end, the descendants of David could no longer be kings. The 500 years of monarchy had come to an official end. Third point, God declared that South Judah would no longer be able to continue their monarchy. Joachim died during battle against Babylon. Regarding Joachim's son, Cho Yachin, God told him about his future through Jeremiah. As God declared, Cho Yachin, his wife, the nobles of South Judah, Ezekiel, and 10,000 skilled workers were taken as the second group of captives to Babylon. Although Cho Yachin was released from prison 37 years later and treated well in Babylon thereafter, he was not able to return to Jerusalem. The sons of Jehoiachin were not able to maintain their monarchy, and all came to an end with Zedekiah as the last king. This is what the Lord says, Record this man as if childless, a man who will not prosper in his lifetime, for none of his offspring will prosper. None will sit on the throne of David or rule anymore in Judah. Fourth point. God declared the judgment on South Judah and also the coming of the Messiah. God told Jeremiah about the days of restoration for South Judah after their punishment. This was God explaining how a kingdom of priests was to be re-established after the return of the captives. 
that furthermore told Jeremiah about the birth and coming of the Messiah. The coming of the Messiah was also recorded in Isaiah 11 verse 1. It was also recorded in Micah 5 verse 2. This was prepared 800 years later through Matthew's genealogy of Jesus Christ. It was also fulfilled through the conversation between Jesus and Pontius Pilate. Fifth point, God spoke of his anger against the false prophets. God gave a warning to the false prophets to Jeremiah. The false prophets were instrumental both to the fall of North Israel and South Judah. They did not deliver God's words, but later said what they wanted to say. The false prophets taught what was in their foolish hearts. They also spoke of peace to those who rebuked God and did evil. They were not called by God. They told false things through God's name. They also led the people to forget about God. God spoke to false prophets, yes, declares the Lord. I am against the prophets who wag their own tongues and yet declare the Lord declares. Indeed, I am against those who prophesy false dreams, declares the Lord. They tell them and lead my people astray with their reckless lies. Yet I did not send or appoint them. They do not benefit these people in the least, declares the Lord. God emphasized that he would strike them down to the people who laughed at God's warning. God told them that he would punish them and that they would see their fall because of their arrogance. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.